It is currently 3 a.m. in the morning. I can't sleep. I just got on my bed. I don't know if you can't you can't really see it there. I'm trying to read a book, 40 Laws of Power by Robert Greene and honestly like I'm having second thoughts about the book. Well, you can see me very very well. I apologize if you can't. That helps. I know this book seemed quite childish to me. You know, I was I was reading um, M. D. Marco's email on read books that actively help you. In my case, like what actually helps me reach my goal? What challenges does the book solve? What information, what piece of information do I need in order to surpass that? And I'm reading this book. I'm like, I'm having second thoughts. I see kind of childish. The Machiavellian manipulation tactics almost. It is what it is, like sure, I understand that, but it seems very childish. And I and I read the book and I'm not really tired. I'm tired enough. I just turn on my computer. Get the file out. I'm not really gonna read the computer. I'm just doing some lighting because I don't want to my light it's too bright. I just wanna, you know give a thought, say a piece perhaps, to try to kind of wrap my kind of loneliness and feeling a bit, not really too much, but I am feeling some level of loneliness, I admit. In this, I don't often feel like this, but I am now, I, I actually like today, well, yesterday I tried to sleep early. Like I came home nine, I ate food quickly. After I ate food, I took a shower. Then I just got got to bed. I didn't even do work on my computer. I said no work after this time. No work at this time because I'm working until like one, two, three a.m. in the morning. That's gonna fuck up my sleep. And you know Brian Johnson, a multi multi billionaire, not multi multi billionaire. He's a multi billionaire, close to a billionaire. Perhaps with his new companies, he could be. Just like as a billionaire because of valuation, right? You know, the aging thing, the mortality thing, extending the lifespan by 150 years. He said the biggest thing you can change in your current life is definitely sleep. Like, try to get better sleep, try to get a good night's sleep, never no negotiate on sleep. He said something interesting, and that's it. That's I never negotiate on my bedtime. It's always like 10 p.m., 9, 10 p.m. It sounded childish to me at first, but then I realized, oh shit, this is the type of guy who's going to live for another 100, 200 years. This is the guy who's slowing down his aging to the point where he's aging slower than a 10 year old. Why aren't I listening to him? And because of that, I'm like, shit, yeah, this person's immensely, immensely qualified. In fact, immensely overqualified to tell me, get better sleep. So I tried to get better sleep. I'm in bed, I'm reading a bit. Help reading usually helps me soothing to sleep because I get bored and I'm like, oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had the book on my chest that I... <laughs> didn't happen this time. What's left is lonely thoughts, pain, uh, doubt and suffering. I watched my spine footage on my back. Uh, like I played back my spine footage. Uh, yeah, I, I fought shit. I fought for shit. I didn't stick the jab. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. Boxing's supposed to be part of my life. But it's not. I remember this guy, like, where the boxing genius come from? Because I had an ego to the point where I thought I was a boxing genius. And someone said to me, Yeah, you're really good boxing. You, you really have a future in boxing if you just keep working hard enough. And I took this heart, I'm like, Yeah, I'm a boxing genius. My cockiness killed me. So I, after that, I just remained humble. And someone asked me recently, he, like, he got beaten in a fight by the way. He was like, oh yeah, but we just went to the ground when he just lost, embarrassingly. He was like, oh yeah, we wrestled on the ground, he got mounted, and he didn't get punched in the face. He was like, oh yeah, the fight would have really went on if that happened. No, you, you, you would have got fucked up even more. And he's the type of guy that asked me, oh, where did the boxing genes come from? It came from me, my ego. And I just paid it off as a joke. It's like self deprecating humor, but. It's not really. 
fun to have. I think it's good to be proud of yourself. And of course, pride is a sin. Look, can I have this one thing? Can I have this one thing? At least. I think a lot of us in the modern day feel lonely enough. It's weird. Like I said before in the other video, you know, in the age of social media, in the age of communication, we're all, all, all separated. You know, I want, I want to be in that position where I'm like, I'm, I'm getting that feeling of fulfillment, happiness, joy in my life, but I don't see it. Let's position the laptop better. Watchful. I must do this. Okay, it's gonna fit better. I remember like a time, especially with this thing, micro music, where everything was just so. So simple. I'm worried about the video game. Like I just, like I just didn't know. I didn't know about self improvement. Self improvement, if something anything made my life better and worse. And then it's that it makes me brutally, brutally aware of the fact that my reality is shit and the fact that I need to change it. I need to work very, very hard in order to change it. And my life was. It's better in the sense that I know, like, I know what I need to do. I see the horizon, I see a better life ahead of me. And every time I log on the video game or do the bad habit, I think to myself, how much time has been truly wasted? How much time? I feel like, yeah, because Andy DeMarco, like, he's a multi millionaire entrepreneur, like, he's a person, a person that, like, talent qualified, he has his mental value. He says, yeah, information overload is not a good thing. And I think to myself, with the action of reading this book, am I information overloading myself? Yeah, yeah, I am. There's not merit to, to, to be. Like, I want to, I want to have like a clear tangible benefit, a clear tangible thing. I feel like reading is the biggest reason as to why I am today, as why I'm a person today. And I, right now I don't even have a solid reason for me reading The Four Laws of Power. It's a dark book, yes it's a dark book, yes it's a manipulative book. Yes it's a real book, it's real. People do this shit in real life. But does it even fucking benefit me? I don't, I don't care. Like, I'm not gonna read the self art, oh, don't give me a fuck about Mark Manson, I just don't care. And then over the course of time, I just stop, stop caring. And in moments, small, small moments, I start caring again. I catch myself, stop caring. You know. I don't know, maybe my inner locus of control has been shook by the fact that I didn't make enough money as I thought I would make. And even when I did make money, it didn't make me happy, as happy as I usually would. Like, giddy, like, yippee! Like, um, I've, I decided that. And that's because my action always just tries to stay calm and 
collected. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, but I was too calm, too collected. I expected another paycheck, but it come. So that's just the world's business. My mind's completely blank. It's rare for me to feel this present. This in the moment. Yeah. 